Welcome to Track Flash, your go-to destination for all things sprinting. Today, we embark on an exhilarating journey through the illustrious career of Noah Lyles, a sprinting sensation whose speed has left the world in awe. Join us as we delve into the intricacies of his training regimen, dissect his remarkable achievements, and uncover the secrets behind his extraordinary success. But before we delve into the riveting details, we kindly request you to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Your encouragement fuels our passion for bringing you the latest insights and updates from the world of track and field. Noah Lyles, a name synonymous with speed and precision, has etched his name in the annals of sprinting history with his electrifying performances on the track. From breaking records to clinching gold medals, Lyles' journey to the pinnacle of success is nothing short of inspirational. Born on July 18, 1997, in the United States, Noah Lyles emerged as a prodigious talent from a young age. Despite grappling with severe asthma during his formative years, Lyles refused to let his condition dampen his spirits. Encouraged by his parents, both former track and field athletes themselves, Lyles took his first steps on the track and never looked back. Lyles' early foray into athletics saw him dabble in various disciplines, including high jump, before ultimately finding his calling in sprinting at the age of 15. His innate talent and unwavering determination quickly caught the attention of coaches and scouts alike, paving the way for a meteoric rise in the world of track and field. In 2012, at the tender age of 15, Lyles made his mark on the sprinting scene with a series of impressive performances, including a blistering 21.82 second run in the 200 meters. With each race, he showcased his raw speed and potential, leaving spectators in awe of his natural talent. As the years passed, Lyle's star continued to rise, culminating in a standout performance at the Youth Olympics in 2014. With a gold medal in hand and a new personal best of 20.71 seconds in the 200 meters, he announced himself as a force to be reckoned with on the international stage. But it was in 2015 that Lyle's truly began to make waves in the sprinting world. A significant improvement in both the 100 and 200 meters saw him shatter personal records and solidify his status as one of the sport's brightest prospects. With a newfound confidence and determination, Lyle set his sights on the ultimate prize, Olympic glory. The road to the Olympics was fraught with challenges and setbacks, but Lyle's refused to be deterred. In 2016, he made history at the U.S. Olympic Trials, narrowly missing out on a spot in the Olympic team, but setting a new national high school record in the process. While falling short of qualifying for the 2016 Summer Olympics, Lyles rebounded by earning a spot in the 2016 World Under-20 Championships, where he emerged as a double gold medalist in the 100 meters and 4 by 100 meters relay. His electrifying performances captivated audiences around the globe, earning him widespread acclaim and admiration. Despite the disappointment of missing out on the Olympics, Lyle's resilience and determination never wavered. Despite initially committing to compete for the Florida Gators at the University of Florida, and with the support of his family and coaches, Noah Lyles and his younger brother Josephus opted to turn professional, signing with Adidas embarking on a new chapter in his career. Noah relocated to Claremont, Florida, to train under the guidance of renowned sprints coach, Lance Brownman. Under the expert guidance of renowned coach Lance Brownman, Lyles honed his craft and refined his training regimen, focusing on speed, strength, and endurance. Brownman's innovative approach to coaching, coupled with Lyles' unwavering work ethic, proved to be a winning combination, propelling him to new heights of success. Brownman, renowned for his coaching prowess with sprint star Tyson Gay, boasts an illustrious history in coaching. Prior to his collaboration with Adidas and the establishment of Pure Athletics in 2007, he served as the former University of Arkansas Sprint and Hurdles coach. Brownman's coaching legacy includes Olympic gold medalist Derek Brew, silver medalist Bernard Williams, and bronze medalist Veronica Campbell Brown. Under Brownman's leadership, Pure Athletics became a leading global sprint group with Olympic medalists, world champions, and record holders. Currently, Brownman directs a stellar lineup including world champion Noah Lyles, Olympic champions Wade Van Niekerk, and Shawnee miller Wibo. Brownman's coaching philosophy seamlessly integrates sports science with his extensive experience, cultivating a culture of success rather than adhering strictly to the dogma of long to short or short to long. 
Brownman emphasizes the importance of intensity and follows what he terms the Charlie Francis system of vertical integration. This approach involves incorporating all training components throughout the year, meaning athletes always work on everything but with varying degrees of emphasis depending on which phase they're in at the time. We follow a training structure of two days of hard work followed by one easy active recovery day on the beach. Sundays are dedicated to complete rest, Brownman explains. On Mondays and Thursdays, we engage in a grass workout run consisting of 40 to 20 second runs for 5 sets or 400, 300, 200, 100 meters run in 2 sets. Tuesdays and Fridays involve acceleration work on sleds. Wednesdays and Saturdays are spent on the beach, focusing on active running, jumps, and some medicine ball exercises, Brownman adds. In March, during the pre-competition period, Noah emphasizes what Coach Brownman refers to as doubles and triples, incorporating a Monday and Thursday workout structure while maintaining acceleration development on Tuesdays and Fridays. As in December, the workout on those specific days is structured as follows. During the competition or championship phase in July, Noah Lyles engages in a high volume of races and travels, necessitating a strategic approach to training. Given the dynamic schedule, the weekly plan is adapted to accommodate these changes. During this period, the focus shifts towards pure speed training, incorporating distances like 60 meters and 80 meters occasionally. Weight training plays a pivotal role in Noah's long-term performance development strategy, dedicating four gym sessions per week. His routine includes lower body workouts on Mondays and Thursdays, followed by upper body sessions on Tuesdays and Fridays. Weight training is integrated post-running sessions, a preference that differs from other groups like John Smith or Clyde Hart, who opt for morning weight sessions. During the months of November and December, the emphasis shifts towards building muscular endurance, also known as lactate tolerance. This targeted focus is crucial for enhancing the athlete's capacity to withstand and efficiently process lactate during intense efforts. The training methodology involves organizing exercises into blocks, repeating each exercise five to six times within a cycle. This repetition ensures that athletes thoroughly learn and master each exercise. As we reflect on Noah Lyle's remarkable journey, we are reminded of the power of perseverance, dedication, and passion. His story serves as a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the limitless potential that lies within each of us. As we wrap up Noah Lyles' training journey, we invite you to join us in celebrating his achievements and honoring his legacy. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more thrilling updates from the world of track and field. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating journey, and until next time, keep chasing your dreams with unwavering determination and relentless passion.